So, it's exam season. You look left and see that you have a pile of bio books to study for, and then you look right and see a pile of past year exam papers that are left untouched. Hmm, should I study the notes first or should I practice first? But if I don't study the notes, I'm gonna be wasting the papers, right? Right, I should memorize the notes first. Does this sound familiar? Well, you are not alone. When I was first starting out in JC, my study method was exactly like what I've just mentioned. After all, this study method worked perfectly well for me when I was preparing for my O-Levels biology papers. I just had to repeat the process of memorize, vomit out whatever I studied, and score an A. However, H2 biology is extremely different from O-Level biology in terms of both breadth and depth. Initially, I scored very well for my first few tests as the topics tested were only just the first few, and I was convinced that my study method worked. However, as time flew by and the pace of lectures skyrocketed, I found myself falling behind. My results easily dropped from an A to a C during my block test and I still saw that C during my promotional exams. How did that happen, you may ask? Well, there are a couple of non-mutually exclusive factors that converge to produce that one outcome. So firstly, I was trying to cope with other subjects as well, thus it depleted my time to even start studying and memorizing for biology. Secondly, I was just so mentally and physically drained from the rigor of JC and thus even when I'm studying and trying to absorb all the keywords and sentences in my notes, I will forget them the next moment. I was far from the sponge I was supposed to be. Then again, I also had no time during the midst of the hustling to ponder and rethink about my studying strategies and only had time to realize and take action in JC2. So, in short, always always practice first. Pick up that pen and start doing the given practice papers. Refer to your notes later. Because the reality is, there will forever be no time to study first then practice. Always make full use of your given resources such as your prelim papers, any practices, and start with them first even though you feel that you have not fully grasped the topic's content or you just don't feel confident at all. Allow me to explain why. Number 1. It actually helps you to remember your content even better. Because when you first practice, or when you practice first, you may encounter a few questions where you really have forgotten the content needed to answer the question. Well, don't worry, because it is normal to start out like this. I started out like this too. For example, you may forget about the process of eukaryotic translation. Just go back to your notes, study it thoroughly and then close it, and try to answer it yourself. This is your first wave of reinforcement of getting that content into your head. Then. When you self-check your answer against the answer key, do your corrections by rewriting the answers in full again. This is your second wave of reinforcements of remembering your content. From these two layers of reinforcements, not only will you be able to receive practice and study a certain part of your notes, your brain is also active as it challenges itself to remember keywords or points. Furthermore, when you discover a new point or point you forgot to write in the answer key, you will remember these points better as well. Number two, it also helps you to become more exam smart. As practice questions in prelim papers or any test papers are adapted from real examinations, not only will you be familiarized with the style of each paper, and if you do a sufficient amount of them, you will notice a pattern of how they ask questions about certain topics. That will further help you to study in a much more effective manner and at a faster pace as you will instantly know which parts of your notes you need to spend more time in or spend less time in. Number three, Muscle memory. Cumulatively, if you were to do the first two points that I just mentioned, it will help you to develop muscle memory. In other words, it's not just about having content in your head, but it's also having about the content and the skills on how exactly to answer questions at your fingertips. From my experience, after putting in so much time and effort to shuttle between practicing and memorizing and practicing and memorizing altogether, I was confident enough to not even take a final glance at my notes before the actual A-level paper. Even I myself did not believe that I could be so familiar with both the content in my notes and know how to answer the questions that will appear. So those are the three things on my tips on how to better prepare yourself for the H2 biology paper and how to actually study for it effectively. So until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.